Welcome to linuxhelp.com. In this session of script configuration, we are going to see about how to limit the bandwidth usage using script. Now move into the script configuration file. Open it. And here you can see a ACL with the ACL name test which has some IPs. To limit the bandwidth, we have to create a delay pool. The delay pool concept helps in limitation of bandwidth. Delay pool is a pool which consists of set of IPs and rules to limit the bandwidth usage for the particular IPs or particular network. Now let me create a delay pool. Delay underscore pools and space and enter number of delay pools we are going to create now i'm going to create only one delay pool so i'm giving one and the next line enter the delay pool class in delay pools there are five different classes each classes has its own specific uses now first we are going to see about class one class one is used to limit the bandwidth for a particular network or a particular IPs and the next line delay underscore class space give the pool count that is if we mention here three pools first we have to give one that is first pool but here we have only one pool and I'm giving one and space and next the class type and now we are going to see about class 1 so I am giving 1 and the next line enter the delay parameters delay underscore parameters and space and enter the pool count that is we mentioned here 1 and space now we have to enter the bandwidth limitation the value to be entered here can be achieved by a small calculation that is if we want to give 64 kilobits per second for each users or network specified in this ACL you can find the value for 64 kbps by a simple calculation for 64 kbps enter 64 enter 64 divided by 8 here you can see 8 and multiply it by 1000 and we get 8000 so if you want to give 64 kbps per second mention here 8000 slash 8000 and this means if the usage of the IPs mentioned here reaches the 8000 that is 64 kbps it remains 64 kbps which we mentioned here so we can also we can also enter here the higher value or lower value that is when whenever the 64 kbps is reached you can reduce the bandwidth allocation or you can increase the bandwidth allocation and the next line delay underscore access space enter the pool count that you mentioned here one and space allow and the ACL name here you can also enter the bandwidth allocation for whole network as I said earlier for that you can give 7.0 slash 24 this means the bandwidth which you allocated here will be applied for this whole 7 series and save this file now we are going to check it at the client side for this IP 5.219 and reload the script service now we are at the client side so I have a link here and this is the link which has images when I click on this image and give download which is 448 KB 
okay you can see the file is downloaded immediately so when I give proxy settings and for the same link you can see the page takes some time to load from here itself we can identify that the bandwidth has been limited so when I click on this image the same image so when I give download ok you can see the time delay taken when compared to previous download so hence we can limit the bandwidth usage of a particular users or the whole network in this class one type delay pool the the bandwidth we have mentioned here will be applied to this whole network and the single IPs it will not take place effect on the every single IP on, on the 7 series it it will be applied by to the overall network if we have a many number of IPs in the 7 series in class 1 we need to mention each IP here so that only this uh, like bandwidth allocation will be takes place on each IP instead of this we can use class 2 which makes it simple than it that we see about class 2 type delay pools in class 2 type delay pools enter delay underscore pools space number of pools we are going to create and giving single pool and next delay underscore class and here in, in giving one that is this is the first pool so I'm giving one and next space and the class type this is class 2 so I'm giving two and next delay parameters underscore parameters and space and here you have to enter the bandwidth for the overall network I am giving here 2 Mbps use the use the calculation as I said earlier and we get and next space and the next bandwidth we are going to give is individual user bandwidth that is the bandwidth for each users first assume that here we are having 5 series network and in 5 series I am having 4 users instead of giving 4 users I am just giving here I am splitting the 2 Mbps connection as 25% for, for each user so I am taking 25% To 0.25, so we get 64,000. Enter it here. And finally, enter the delay access space and enter the pool count one. Sorry, here also I have to mention the pool count one and space and allow space test ASL name and save this file and service squid reload and now let me check at the client side I have mentioned 5 series network so we can check at any 5 series network here you can see now I am setting the proxy as the proxy which you configured and now I am opening this link and I am downloading this image file which is 4.18 MB I am giving download and ok you can see the downloading speed as we mentioned
that is 512 kbps per second and that's all about class 1 and class 2 type delay pools thank you